friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to do an update recipe on my Jet Fuel Latte blend. And I need to make an, uh, another batch, so today was a great day to shoot a video. So on to the recipe, and then I'll share why I do this, how I use it, and some different things that you can do to make it um, suit your tastes and your needs. So starting with this, this is the batch we are working on right now. I always like to have two quart jars full of my mix ready to go at all the, all the time. So that way when I finish one, I can start another. Part of the reason I'm updating this video too is that my old video, the lighting was still, I was still using, not using such bright light and it might have been harder for people to see and because I have a better way of mixing it as well that makes it go so much faster, so much easier, and that was thanks to one of my subscribers. See, we all learn from each other so much doing this. Okay, so I'm going to need my funnel here, and if you uh, are looking to find a good stainless steel funnel, I found mine on Amazon, and I'll go ahead and link to it below. Um, sometimes the stainless steel ones can be hard to find depending on where you're at. The plastic ones are all over the place, but um, I love this funnel. It works perfect for all this kind of stuff. Now, cacao, for those of you who don't know, simply means raw cocoa. So whenever you see cacao, that's the only difference. It just means it's still in its raw form. It hasn't been baked or cooked in any way. So for this, uh, I'm going to, I've got my half gallon jar, in case you didn't realize that's what size that is. And then I'm going to start with one and a half cups of the cacao. Now part of the reason for the cacao is this gives it, it just gives it some nice, a real nice flavor that also helps cover up the, whoop, helps cover up the flavor too of some of the not so tasty things that I'm going to be putting in here. This stuff I do actually take, we take daily. Uh, we have a cup of this every day and I don't need coffee. I, I don't really need coffee anyway, but I tell you, this latte blend is something that gives me energy all day long and keeps me going. And I do not need coffee. In fact, if I have even a smidgen of coffee after drinking this, I, I actually get really shaky. It's just too much. So I'm sure the cacao itself <laughs> lends a, a lot of that. But another one of the big ingredients that's going to help with energy, For anyone who's got low thyroid or, or many other health issues, that is the ashwagandha. I have been just really sold on the ashwagandha. Now, the ashwagandha is going to give it a bit of a bitter taste and that's why I like to add a lot of these different things that I'm doing to help cover that up. It's, it's the least tasty thing in here, but it's also what I would think one of the most powerful things, especially if you're having adrenal issues of any kind or dealing with fibromyalgia, any of this kind of stuff, um, this may work really well for you. Now, we can never, uh, guarantee that any one herb or root is going to help you in particular, but you need to experiment and find out what works for you. If it doesn't work, it doesn't help you, then move on to something that does. Don't feel like you have to keep punishing yourself if you really hate something or keep taking something and if, you know, if it's not working. Of the ashwagandha, I'm going to use a, whoops, a three quarter cup of that. And the ashwagandha you'll find is very, very powdery, very fine. So, okay, and then the other thing I use is the maca. If you're going through menopause or any other uh, female problems, even male hormonal issues, maca root is, is good for both men and women in that way. So consider that. So of this, I use a three quarter cup. And then the other thing I want to say about the maca, some people like it, some people don't. To me, I love the smell. It smells wonderful. It makes me think of caramel popcorn, honestly. Uh, the flavor, I wouldn't say it tastes quite like that, but it's not bad. I, like, I, I don't mind the flavor at all, especially when it's mixed with the cacao. Okay, now um, another thing I've been doing, and I don't know that I did this in my first video, and that, that is adding some a dehydrated orange peel just to give it some more vitamin C and a little more flavor and for that I usually put I don't put a whole lot maybe about a half cup total and then the other thing is my mixed spice blend this is mostly for flavor and but also the spices and stuff in here 
just are super good for you. They help build your immune system. And I have a video on what's in this, but just to give you a quick rundown, it is a ginger, cloves, cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, and um, a few other things. So you can watch that video and see the ratios I use. But when I'm adding it to the blend, I use again another three quarter cup. And then the other new thing I'm going to, I've been adding is or new to the blend is the turmeric. Now, because of the strong flavor of the turmeric, which I do like in some things, though I'm not super crazy about it in the latte blend, um, as long as you, I keep it light, don't put too much in there, it adds a decent flavor without being too overpowering. So for this batch, I'm only gonna put in a quarter cup. Now, you may have noticed I'm not putting in any black pepper. Why? Well, I like black pepper, but I don't really like it in my jet fueled latte blend. I've tried it. But you know what? There's absolutely no need for it in here. And if you want to know why, I recommend you go check out my video about turmeric and is black pepper really necessary? The answer is no, it's not. But there's a lot of ingredients that are already in here. The main one being is the raw cacao that is going to help make the turmeric bioavailable in the body so there's no need for me to add black pepper. All right, now all I need to do next is put the lid on. So you can see what it looks like now. And then just shake it up really good. Usually go back and forth like this. And then shake it around like this. This is the quickest, easiest, and most thorough way to get your powders to mix up uh, well. I do this now with my mix spice blend. I do this when I'm making my season salt. I do this when I'm making my homemade tooth powder blend. Now to fill up my jar, my candy funnel, and you may want to kind of put your hand over it a bit as you're starting to pour it in there. Ooh. And that is why. Okay, and now I'll just put the lid on and there you go. Now to know how to blend it, how to consume it, we're going to go over that next. Okay, so one of my favorite ways to drink this is using some almond milk. So I might put, um, I don't use full, just straight almond milk, though it would be, taste awesome that way. I do try to keep that, um, this kind of stuff, like milks and anything like that, whether it be nut milk or cow milk or goat milk, doesn't matter. I try to keep that uh, to the minimum in the mornings. So I usually use maybe about a quarter cup of this with hot water to mix into my cup. Now the first thing I do is I pour in the hot milk, whereas I've already heated up on the wood stove and I pour that in first. And then I take a spoonful about like that, like a heaping teaspoon. And I used to use a heaping tablespoon and now I've cut it back. But that right there is probably a tablespoon anyway and because a tablespoon is three teaspoons and that looks like about three teaspoons to me and then i put that in there so with the milk and then i mix it with a fork then i um, pour in the hot water that i've heated up on the wood stove in my stainless steel teapot and then i just keep mixing it as i go now again it would taste really good if you use nothing but straight milk and no water at all. It's going to be completely up to you. A lot of times I'll drink it with nothing but hot water and not add any milk. It just depends on how I feel. Now another idea I had that would be a really great idea for some people, if you really like the milk in it, uh, is to get that organic whole powdered milk and then you can figure out how much you want to mix with this like maybe cut all these if you want to do just a quart jar cut all these ingredients in half or cut them about down by one quarter and then add that much of your powdered milk to it and that way you don't even have to blend milk with it in the morning you can just add hot water so if you're looking for a really good coffee replacement that also has a lot of benefits to your thyroid and other glands throughout your body gives you lots of energy and it's organic this is one really good way to go. It is my own recipe. I just kind of made it up on the fly one day trying to find ways to get some of these good things into our diet and also to try to cut back on the coffee because though I don't think coffee is evil, especially if you're getting organic 
coffee. If you're really looking to go off the thyroid medications, it is one of the things you should cut back on at least for a time and cut out even when you get off your medication and your body's adjusting to relearning how to um, make its own thyroid again. And so that's what I've done. And uh, I love coffee myself, but I don't, I absolutely do not need it, especially when I have a cup of this in the morning. And one more thing is if you really feel, I, we don't add any sweeteners of any kind to this, but if you really feel the need to add a little sweetness to it, I recommend going with some coconut sugar because the coconut sugar, like I have right here, is going to add more minerals, plus that little bit of sweetness, but just try it without any sweetener at all first and see what you think. And uh, maybe you'll uh, find a blend that works really good for you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.